Hello everyone, welcome to another session for our ARD MCQ series. For today's topic, I've chosen on Census of 2011 and SEC on 2011. My name is Hansa Nora Sama and I've done my bachelor's in horticulture honors and I've also completed my master's in nematology in agriculture. So don't forget to subscribe and please press the bell icon for further notifications and please don't forget to share if you like the video. Moving on to the first question, which of the following is tr not true regarding a population census conducted in India? A is C.M. Chandra Molly was the Registrar's General and Census Commissioner of India. Number B, motto of census 2011 was our census, our welfare. Number C, it is conducted every 10 years. Number D, it collects general demographic information. Number E, it is carried out under the Census Indian Act 1948. So the correct answer for this is number B. So the motto of 2011, uh, 2000, Census 2011 was a woman enumerator, not our census, not our welfare, right? So the first one, CM Chandra Molly, was he was the Registrar General and the Census Commissioner during that time for 2011 census. And it, it is usually conducted every 10 years and it collects general demographic information. It also collects the uh, demographic information as well as economic uh, activity, um, literacy rates, the fertility rate, mortality rate, urbanization um, and um, housing. And so census uh, was first conducted under the British, British Viceroy. And his name was Lord Mayo, and in the in the year 1972, right? So this was done to frame the new policies and government um, um, programs to uplift uh, the or improve the areas in the country, right? And it it's the census 2011. It spread across 29 states and. Um, nine union territories and it also spread across the 640 districts right and it's usually conducted in two phases the first one is the house listing and the second one is population and it's uh this census 2011 is the 15th indian census so try to remember all the history, all these brief descriptions or the introductions of the census. So, so questions might come like Registrar General and Census Commissioner of India is under which of the department? So if you know the answer or if you have any guesses, please don't forget to draw by the comment section. So moving on to the next question. As per the census 2011, which of the following Union territories has the highest literacy rate? So the first one is Lakshadweep, uh, B, Dadra Nagar Haveli, C, National Capital Territory of Delhi, D, Pondicherry, and E, Chandigarh. So the correct answer for this is Lakshadweep. It, it showed the highest literacy rate of about 91.85%, right? And to make it more clear, uh, in this slide, I have... Uh, shown some of the facts or highlights of the census the first the total person literacy rate in india is about 70 74 percent and the males have around 82.14 percent and females have 65.46 percent the highest literacy rate in state is kerala right and the lowest literacy rate in the states is Bihar with only about 61.8% and the highest literacy rate in the Union Territory is Lakshadweep and the lowest is in Dadra and Nagar Haveli. Right. So there's another one of uh, some of the highlights I've given for the census as well. The population, the total population of India is 121 crore and the males have about 62.3 crore females make about 58.6 crore and the literacy we've already discussed just now density population per kilometer square is 382 and the sex ratio is 940 to 1000 males all right and the child sex ratio from the age between 0 to 6 is uh, 914 to 1000 
males all right so questions might come according to the 2011 census report what is the sex ratio of female and males so the correct answer would be 940 females to 1000 males moving on to the third question which state has the highest population density as per the 2011 census okay a uttar pradesh b madhya pradesh c west bengal b d, d bihar and E Kerala. So the correct answer for this is West Bengal. So remember, there's a difference with, between population and population density, right? So population is just the number of individuals in the population and population density. It refers to the number of uh, people per unit area, right? So for the highest population, as you can see here, state with the highest population is UP. So don't forget, uh, do not get confused with UP and West Bengal, right? So this one comes, it is the highest in population and this one, West Bengal has the highest population density amongst all the states, right? And the state with the lowest population is Sikkim, all right? And the Union Territory with the least population is again Lakshwadeep. And the state with the highest population density, West Bengal. And the state with least population density is Arunachal Pradesh, right? And state with the highest sex ratio is Kerala. And state with the lowest sex ratio is Haryana, all right? So I have another question for you. According to the census report of 2011, which of the Indian state has the highest urban population? All right. So don't if you know or if you have any guesses, don't forget to comment in the comment section and please do let me know. Moving on to the fourth question, it says in the socioeconomic and cost census, some households will have the highest priority for inclusion in the BPL list. And these include number one, household without shelter, number two, primitive tribal groups, number three is ST or SC households. So the options are one and two only, number B, one and three only, Number C, 1, 2, and 3. Number D, 2, and 3 only. Number E, none of the above. So, first and foremost, we need to know that um, in this in this SECC 2011, they have a priority. They have a list of priorities and which will include uh, in the BPL list. Okay, so BPL is, made, uh, is below poverty line. And the key, uh, the main or the key rationale uh, behind the SECC was to get access to the population which were under the BPL list. So there are five in the list which gets the five most highest priority. The first one is households without shelter, right? And the second one is living in elms. The third one is manual scavengers. The fourth one is primitive tribal groups and the fifth one is legally released bonded laborers right these are the highest priorities so don't forget don't get confused with the list that comes under the angle of deprivation okay so they're even they're considered poor but then they are mostly considered under the angle of deprivation so these are the five um main highest priorities so let's go back to the question the options were household without shelter this is right primitive tribal groups this is also right and this does not include the sc or st households so the correct answer for this is one and two only right let's go in, let's go to the last question now consider the following statements on the basis of secc all right so the first one is this is the first ever post-independent socioeconomic cost census. Number two, census in rural area it has been conducted by the Department of R Rural Development. And SECC 2011 was also the first paperless census in 540 districts. So let's just roughly discuss about the SECC, right? So SECC was the first ever post-independent socioeconomic cost uh, census which was conducted in India and the earliest it was done in the year 1931, all right? And so they started to conduct the surveys uh, by on 29 June 2011. It was first done in the uh, Sakola village which is in the district of West Tripura, 
all right and the results they were released in the year 2015 all right and for the census in rural area it is done by the department of rural development and the census in the urban area it was conducted by the uh, department of housing and urban poverty and census for cars was done by the ministry of home affairs all right and it was done in 640 districts remember it wasn't done in the uh, it wasn't done in 540 districts all right so the main aim uh, for this for the government to conduct this SCCC was to evaluate the performance of the past schemes and policies and update them accordingly right so so these are in this slide i've given some of the highlights of the um, sccc 2011 okay so the first one let's just uh, roughly go through all of these stats it showed that there were 24.39 crore total household which includes the rural as well as the urban all right and there was 65.15 lakh no adult member in household between the age of 18 to 59 and 5.37 crore landless households deriving a major part of the income from ma manual labor all right and 17.91 crore total rural households all right 3.86 crore sc st households and 4.21 crore households with no literate above 80, 25 years and these sources of income were through manual casual labor 9.16 crore and through cultivation is only 5.39 crore right so again if you move here uh, we have some data or the highlights of the socioeconomic census and the first one is there about 7.16 lakh uh, which makes about 0.40 percent households with differently abled members with no adult able-bodied members right and there are 8.69 crore which are considered poor or deprived in india and 17.91 crore is in the rural households and 81.1 lakh which makes about 2.58 households they pay income tax and 2.50 crore 14.01 percent households uh, they have with only one salaries member right 3.1 crore which makes about 17 per 31 percent out of the total population they know they are of illiterate people right and 5.37 crore landless households which make about 29.97 percentage right so the information collected at the level of the individual and households they include the occupation education disability religion SCST caste name of the caste tribe or uh, the employment income source of income assets housing consumer durables and new non durables and lastly by land so that's all for today um, try to remember all of these uh, facts and all of these data but try to make a small note if you want you can take a screenshot of this video as well and then so that later on it'll be you can just check it and revise from here as well so that's all for today don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and if you like the video don't forget to press the thumbs up button 